Bally Booth was first. How you all doing? Wiley, thanks for the resub. I'm just going to um, sort my shit out. I'll be with you in about five minutes, okay?
Good evening, how's it going? What's up? I'm looking at the right camera for once. Let's play some music. Will it work if I do that? It will. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's put the chat thingy on so you can see me a bit for the little bit of the chat. Uh, I'm wearing my glasses today. I've had to not have my contact lenses in because one of my eyes really been hurting and I don't know, it sucked. And I was going to go for a run and I didn't go for a run because I couldn't put my contact lenses in. And if I run in my glasses, they go like this and I've, it's, it, it just doesn't work. So I've, I've stayed in the house. Except we've just been for a nice walk. There's some uh, John B information for you. Um, Jay Brazy 716 thank you for the prime. That's a new name. Thank you, uh, J, J, JB Razzy. Uh, Dr. Pants, thank you for the nine months. And Wiley, thanks for the four months. Do you like my shirt? That's where it, whenever they do a, a little update. So, uh, oh, you've got a green card. I've been doing really well out of the scav junk box as well. I just, uh, I just claimed one right now and I got a lion, uh, and a couple of other bits. And the one before that, I got the tank battery Welcome that I really, really needed for the, um, Hello. the Prapor quest. So it means Here. I can do the Ash 12 trade now, which is stonks. So, um... Really good. Hello, Bastic from Phoenix. Hi, Infiltrator. Oh, you were asking about the music earlier. The, the music on the intro I made myself, and I think it's on my SoundCloud. Um, it's not available for... I didn't release it or anything. I just I just made that sort of intro music for the intro for this. So um, my plan for today uh, is just... I'm a bit mashed at the moment, really. Um... So I'm just going to like run some scav runs and just chill and try and make some rubles um, and uh, just sort of chat to you. I'm, if Cyborg's around, I might play with him later, but I haven't really even had a chance to text him today to see 
if anyone's around for duos, but um, I haven't had a solos e, e session for a while. So, um, hello, Miss Jackalope. Um, oh, I, I'll, I'll show you me. Let's do a quick stonks as well. Okay, teapots. Teapots are too expensive. So, nice thing I've done today is I've got myself two thick weapons cases because I managed to kill. I managed to get Jaeger up to level four at the weekend because I only needed one more point of XP and I which there was only one quest I could do to get that which was um killing uh bolt action close range kills and I killed two people in the factory in one raid I was like yeah um so that's really really good and he's got a trade for a thick weapons case that's two of them four of them which is pretty cheap and these weapons cases are less than a million if you do the barter with the mechanic um so I'm eventually going to do more, but I, I'm i waiting for my solar to finish constructing. That's a really expensive upgrade, um, and I've paid for it and everything, but I have to wait for it to happen. And then, then that means I can do Bitcoin farm level three. So I need to farm up a bit of money to buy a tank battery in some of these and another 15... Oh, not they don't matter but i need to get a whole bunch more graphics cards so i'm gonna need to need a lot of money in the next um week or so so i figure we'll just do a bit of a peaceful scav run evening for a bit um i'll just i'll load in for one now and it means i can chat to you a bit more than i can normally um and i'll just show you how i make money or if i die then obviously i don't make any but um this is i haven't done this my I think it's because I've been a bit less scared to play PMC runs this um, this wipe, and I've also had a lot more help. Like uh, I know more people that I feel like I can ask for a favour to help me out and stuff. So um, when I, I haven't been so scared to do PMC runs, and I've made a lot more progress a lot quicker. Um, so uh, I haven't been doing my usual, which is shit loads of scav runs to like put off doing pmc runs and also just a way to kind of make money um um yeah cyborg's been a bit under the weather he got covid um but i think he's over the worst worst of it he was pretty ill um not like super super bad but he's been proper ill um Oh, what's going on there? What's that? What? 50 quid! Whoa! Barnabas Rex, come on, mate! Thank you! Oh my god, I'll stop this. There you go. You get some bad fucking things. I got a bonus from work, so you get a bonus from work. Oh, thanks, Barnabas Rex. Wicked. Thank you. Blasted out the bland wagon poos as well. I'm glad that works. That's the first time that's happened on the Tarkov stream. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you very much, Barnabas Rex. Big up on the bonus as well. Right. Oh, is the music still playing? Right, we're loading in. So, it's raining. That's really good. Right, where am I? I'm inside Ollie. So, we've got 17 minutes left. I don't have anything too much good on me, so I don't need to be super protective of it. But obviously, I don't want to die. Uh... My gun's only single fire. Uh, right, I'm around the other end. So when I'm here, I I don't really think there's anything in the back here. I never see... I, d I don't waste any time looking. There might be a couple of toolboxes, but I don't ever find any. So in the back of Ollie, I go along here. Hello. I'm a friendly scav. Are you a PMC or a scav? Hello. Hello. Hello, my friendly Scav, if you want to do an extract. Hello. No, okay. Just hope we don't run into bad people that kill us. Um, so, I look in here. Someone's already been and rinsed everything. Probably that dude. Um, I don't even know if it's worth... I might as well just search the computers. I think people tend to miss them and stuff like... CPU's not really worth that much. So I'm basically just trying to farm a bit of money. Uh, uh, yeah, someone's rinsed everything. Um, so what I normally do... 
I haven't done scav runs much this run. There we go. Power core, they're useful because you make wise fuel conditioner. 38,000 rubles. Nice. Okay. So, what I do now is I just leave if I can. There's two duffels down here that I hit. On the way out. Hello, Dr. Pants. Oh, you're off out. Oh, you're lurking. Okay. Dr. Looper. Right, cool. Right, I'm just trying to go there. And then I hit this one here. At least I've got a bit of a bag this time. Sometimes when you're a scav, you don't even have any uh, space. Okay. Name of the game is just do it quick. Don't always check this one, but you never know. There might be a really cool uh, weapons part in there. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I'm not going to put that on because I won't be able to hear. And also... I feel like if you've got visible good gear on you as a scav, you're more likely to get killed by other scavs if they're idiots. Um, and people are more likely to mistake you as a player. Okay, Apollo, I'm not going to work. That's good. That's good. Uh, uh, I'm not going to bother with a bank robber. I know I could. It's only 10k. Hey, G Frish, hello, Wiley. Yep, yeah, we're doing a scav raid. I'm an interchange scav main for sure. This is literally... I've done a bit of... Um... Why can't I put that on? Oh, I put it in the wrong place. Hats I don't bother with. Herring, they sell quite well. Gauge, I need that for um, my Bitcoin level 3. So that's kind of the mission today is collect a few things if I actually need them for Bitcoin farm. And just generally farm money. Um, and also, there's a few random normal shit that I, I'm close to being able to get a sick case. Because I didn't even get Jaeger level 4 last wipe, but I have now. So, um, ooh, CMS uh, is worth more to me than that. 85 rubles are worth more than that. Okay. That's not a huge haul, but that's good enough. And if I can escape quickly so then I run out here try and make sure I've got enough stamina to keep running spam the scav sound every now and then then I jump up over here hoping that anyone over there won't have enough range to shoot at me if they are feeling like a dick and then I'm regaining my stamina while I walk around here oh hi cyborg and then people usually don't check this. Some, there's a med spawn there, like for IFAX and um, painkillers sometimes. And occasionally you can get a nice gun in there, but don't often. Then... Spam that. I've never been camped right on the corner there, but this is the first time for everything. Hey, Cyborg, I haven't hit you up yet. I don't know if you fancy playing a bit later. Um, but no worries if not. I'm just doing peaceful scav runs and trying to earn some money, really. But we could have another bash at those um, shoreline missions if you uh, fancied a couple. I'll just, uh, shall I go in there? I always go in. There might be a, it's worth, well, I don't know, it's not worth dying over, but you never know what could be in the jacket here. Uh, my PMC level's 37 now. Largely, well... Mainly due to the help of everyone that I've played with that's basically sherpered me through all the, the stuff. Um, and, like, please, Oh, I made a mistake there by not building up my um, stamina. Uh, yeah, like, I'm 37 now, but it's basically due to uh, people like Cyborg, Piranha, Azzy... Um, and then on my 24-hour stream, Captain Coach. Um, and, oh, we got out. Uh, celebrate. <laughs> and Iron Fist as well. Iron Fist. <laughs> We're out. Uh, so, who's that? 
L E P 300 says, hey, dude, just want to say Mercury Skies is one of the best tracks ever made. Thanks and have a good one. Thank you. Thank you for finding me here on Twitch and um, coming to check me out playing some video games. I'm amazing. Thank you for the 500 bits. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, Kreutz Konigan says, GG, what's up? Right, so uh, I have to offload my scav here. So I'm going to put sort of junk that I'll sell at another point in bundles into the top one there. Things that I can probably sell quickly down here now. Uh, and things that I just, yeah. I'll save them for stonks is where I put things I'm going to use for barter trades. Um, then ah, play some tunes. Is it playing tunes? Yeah. I put my knives in this thingy until it's full up and then I know uh, it's time to do the MP5 trade. Um, I would normally keep those CSA rigs. I quite like them. Right. So I'm going to uh, quickly sell things a bit. Uh, for the new computer, thanks, I'm amazing, thank you. And just for the general USB cables fund and USB hubs and cameras and things like, um, when I do eventually get a new stream computer for this stuff, for the Tarkov, that will mean I can get a nicer camera. Um, so when I have like this view on me, I mean, this looks all right. This is pretty good. This is a Logitech stream cam here. Um, and it is running at 60 FPS, but what I really want is one of those nice Sony's with a Sigma lens like everyone uses. Um, so you have that depth of field and you get the kind of a bit of the blur behind you and it looks really, really pro. Like that's kind of when I eventually stump up for that, that will be like my luxury kind of, you know, it, it's not really going to like make more people watch my streams or anything. But I, I always try to make everything look as cool as i can and i'm trying to sort of improve all my output and um uh, it's not like a great investment <laughs> but it'll it'll be nice like i'll set myself some kind of goal and like if i feel like i've reached it then i'll treat myself to um the new camera there um so yeah thanks I'm amazing thank you ah so who's this uh zal zalmon de joy really like the music you make and you like talking is how i found me so keep up the good work. The song that got me was the video about the wipe when all the scav bosses does. Oh yeah, that's um, uh, hold your fire because it's a wipe. Um, which I still have. Hang on, let's uh, let's list a couple of these things. Which I still haven't had the response. I, 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 that's kind of why I'm doing some scav runs as well now. Is hopefully we can have some fun wipe interactions. And it would just be so cool if we're somewhere and I go like hold your fire, and then the other person on the wipe goes like because it's a wipe. And, and then they can shoot me. Um, so the process for today is sort of scav run, sell off some of the shit, and then do another scav run. I should have a fast cooldown timer because I've got intel. So I've got seven minutes there. Um, I have got some um, quests to try as well. Annoyingly, I've only got two flipping slots on the flea, so everything gets a bit slower. Ah, oh, there we go. I missed if um, Cyborg replied and if he said he was able to play later. Um, can anyone remember? I haven't. I'll, I could just go and scroll back, but I could also ask you. Um, we'll also do a bit of stonks today. Um, oh, you texted me. Okay, cool. No worries, mate. That's all good. Okay, cool. Well, that at least means I know I'm. Um, chilling uh my fence rep who's asking that dogs tracksuit it's only 2.38 um i oh, should put a full screen on then you can sort of see my screen a bit better yeah my fence reps to only 2.38 um basically because i killed santa over christmas and um that set me back i was doing quite well until then but um i've managed a few co-op extracts I had a really nice one at the weekend. I was just doing quiet, peaceful scav runs on Interchange. And um, some guy started trying to fight me, but it's because he thought I was part of a group that he'd previously had a fight with. Um, and he'd like wiped a whole squad and his mates had died. So once he'd tidied away all his stuff, he let me take like what was left. And then we'd extract it together. So, um... oh no, yeah, killing Santa is so easy for me because I'm so sort of on edge all the time I'm playing. Um, it was so easy for me to kill Santa. Like, I would have killed him two more times if I hadn't been such a potato and, like, you know, 
not being able to do it and, and just shot him and uh ah okay all right let's just sell this thing cheap there was one time actually piranha uh we were we'd been doing a raid on woods during christmas and i had the thing on me that i needed to extract with and i shot at santa and then he started shooting back at me and and piranha took the bullet for me literally by um killing santa for me so i could get out um which is very good of him right let's have a quick look for the old stonks teapots under 30k oh yeah baby one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i know Euros is misleading, but I worked out if they're under 202, that's under 30,000 rubles. So we just bought 10 teapots. I can now, assuming they're not like out of stock, do the old ragman trade. Not enough space, okay, let's do six. Um, can I sell that? You wait around a little bit for ragman to sort of Spaghetti's just uh, giving you them. And I go back, and then I sell the rigs, and he buys them for like 34,162. So you basically, every single teapot I can buy it by under 30k, I make 4k on. And um, I just sort of do this when I'm killing time, just to sort of get a little bit of cash in. Um. While we're waiting for the scav to come back. And there's a few other ones as well. The grenade, we'll have a look for the grenade case in a sec. I'll just sell that as well. So that's like 40k. <laughs> uh, right, can I sell this bastion? Hope you don't mind me just trying to make some dough tonight and just chilling. Refiki, thank you for the sub. Did I rinse it out proper? <laughs> I, I survived one raid so far. I have not died, so that's good. Hi, Dimmy. Fending off the kittens. Nice one. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, that's a Piliad Weaver. They s Is it a Piliad? Pilad. Okay. Just sell everything cheap, just so it goes and doesn't clog up my uh, my slots. Is my scav ready yet? Two minutes. Two minutes and then we go again. In the meantime, I uh, try and sell shit. Dr. Lupo's coffee beans. I think I'm better off just to sell it. I'm trying to sell everything through the flea market so I can get my rep up, which will give me an extra thingy. Don't forget a grenade. Well, I'm going as a scav at the moment, so... Um, doesn't really matter too much um, but when I go I think after this scav run I'll do a PMC and we'll do some sneaky um, scav hunting on my PMC because I've got ooh, 26 beautiful two three four five six seven eight nine there we go we almost made 40 no made over 40k profit there because some of them were well under let's see if there's any more while we're waiting nope Good. Something just sold on the flea market. Alright. We can list. Let's sell these thingies, although I doubt anyone's going to buy them, but you never know. More teapots. So we're on 5 million, uh, which isn't too bad. Um, we haven't got any dailies. Oh, hang on a minute. We might have some dailies that I could attempt. Uh, find and transfer. So we've got to find a chainlet and a golden neck chain. I've got a horse already. My beautiful horse. Two factory survives could be fun, but it's kind of suicide, really. I tend to only do that when I've got a quest requiring me to kill people. Do I know the name of that tune on SoundCloud? Um, no, I mean, it should be on. Maybe I removed it. Um, it should be up. If you find uh, my my profile on SoundCloud, it'll just be as a track on there. Like, just search, you know, John B. Tarkov or something. Tarkov theme, maybe. 
7 PMCs with a headshot, not going to happen. 50 PMCs, not going to happen. Right, scav must be ready now. Nine seconds, okay, cool. Let's get ready for the scav. Oh no, your gaming PC's died, Luxa. What happened? What's wrong? What are the symptoms? Right, we're doing a nighttime interchange. Looks like I've got a nice backpack there, so we could do a bit of a food run. If it's if it's not up there, Infiltrator, I can just um, send you the MP3 or something if, if you want it to listen to or something. I'm not sure how I'd feel about you using it on your stream. Like, uh, if it's on SoundCloud... Yeah, because I kind of made it to be my special intro, you know, so no one else had it. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't know if... if yeah, if, if you want to use it on your stream, hit me up. Um, send me a DM or something and I'll I'll work it out in my head. Um, AIO pump has died. Oh no, I have no idea. I don't use water cooling. <laughs> Rob, <laughs> yeah. Faction 2 certainly knows his stuff about computer building, so uh, the, the, the route through Dimmy there is going to be excellent tech support. Rob says you have to replace the cooling system. Eight-year-old is beyond their life cycle. <laughs> oh, what? So AIO pumps like a very old type of cooling pump or something. I've got a shit cooler on my uh, CPU in this gaming PC, actually. I've li I, I need to um, put something nicer on. Right. Sh okay. Decent key there. Not much of that. rest of that stuff's worth good. 15 minutes left. If I go to the tech stores, I may get murdered, but... And then running down through Ollie is murderous. Oh, there's a... That's the sound of a, an airdrop, though. Friendly scarf coming through. I'm a friendly scarf. I'm a friendly scarf. That's that's me on the VoIP. By the way, how does it look with my camera on the other side now? Do you like... Is that good? Friendly scarf, friendly scarf. Hello. Right, I'm just going to pick up everything I find. I know we don't run into any light. Traitors. Oh, PSU? No, just a random box. I really am picking up everything. Hang on, I didn't check here. Sometimes there's. No. Nope. Nope. Friendly scarf coming through, friendly scarf. That looks like it's something, but it's not. Oh, what's that? It's just... Shall I risk Rasmussen? Friendly scarf in the area, I'm a friendly scarf. No. Never found a GPU there, but apparently it does happen. <laughs> Such a through only in the night is the only thing that makes me feel alright. Ooh, a nice uh, suppressor there. I'll take that if I may. I don't feel comfortable around here. I always run into the worst, treacherous um, other people in a sort of ollie in the darkness around here. It just seems like it breeds the sort of either people that don't 
get scav karma or they're just meanies. Friendly scav, if you want to do an extract, anybody? I'm a friendly scav. What's that? Take that. Take that. It's a better rig than I've got. Those hats aren't really worth much. I need a golden chain, so if we're lucky there might be one. Oh, oh, chainlet. Oh shit. Hello, silenced gunman. I'm a friendly scav up here. Do you want to do the extract? <laughs> Shall I go after him? Hello, I'm a friendly scav up in Ollie if you want to do the co-op extract. We should do so shall I just go Oh, I've got some have I got some good shit? The silence is good, but the rest of it isn't. Let's go and try and find him. Hello, I'm a friendly scav if you want to do an extract. Hello. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? I'm a friendly scav if you want to do the extract. I need the XP. Hello? Hello, I'm a friendly scav. Silence. You yeah, probably have a better chance in Ollie, because then they're not Ollie, um... Then they know you can run out. Hmm. Should I go to idea? Let's risk it for a biscuit and go to idea. <laughs> ah, PC part picker. Yeah, I've heard. Uh, what you saying? Ollie tech light and techno make people crazy with the loot. Yeah. <laughs> Running past Rasmus. I'm gonna go. I don't normally come through this way, but I think this... Will this bring me... Th this is the secret stairsy bit? I never go this way when I'm with people that know where they're going. Hello, friendly scarf here. Ah, someone's been... Or not. Herring. 15k. Hello, friendly scarf. Don't know what Magda must think when she hears me just going, Oh, friendly scarf. Oh, what's that? Is that a. Oh, th are they worth money? I don't know what that's. What's that called? Slenderman mask. Can someone like do a price Slender mask in the chat? There's only eight minutes left. I don't think we're going to have any. Uh, uh, might be good to check for a... I'm a friendly scav if you want to do a co-op extract, anybody? Sure do. Ah, cool. Oh, fucking hell, you came out of nowhere. <laughs> Hi, yeah, do you want me to drop my weapon or something? Hello. Oh, I'm a scav as well. Oh, you're a scav. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. Uh, do you need anything for daily? Do you need anything for no, daily? You can have this if you want. Oh, what you got? Oh, is that... Oh, oh mate, thank you. Legend. Cool. Uh, Do you have food drivers by any chance? No, um, I got a Vita juice. Sometimes they come up as a daily. I don't think I saw any on the back either. I got a nice silencer you can yeah, have. It's already muted, but thanks. See you can. Guys. There's a nice silencer if you want that. As soon as you gave me a roller. If it's something you use, I'll just sell it otherwise. So. Cool. Have a good one. I'm going to go off to a uh, railway. So, see you later. Right. Bye. Good luck. Oh, there you go. Friendly German scavs. My favourite. Oh. And this is where I get shot by a bad scav now. 
Friendly scav coming through. Friendly scav coming through. Gave me a Rolex. What a nice man. Friendly scav. Anybody want to do an extract? Friendly scav. I'm a friendly scav if you want to do an extract. I can't. Am I going the right way to get to I don't normally sort of come this way. Hello, I'm a friendly scav. If you're a PMC, you want to do an extract? No, you yes, yes. Ah, trend. Ah, there we go. Hopefully, I'll have time to hit the stashes on the way out. Let's have a look in the bag. We've got six minutes. Someone's already been there. Stamina. It's probably a bit too late to bother checking in the. Oh, yeah, five minutes. Hello. I saw a scav over there, but it's AI. Hello, friendly scav here if you want to do a PMC extract. Hello, I'm a friendly scav. Are you a PMC or a scav? Hello. It's oh. Hello. Wiggle, wiggle. Hello. Are you cool? Okay. I don't like silent scavs. I might just get fucking moving here. He was a bit sus. Although he had quite good gear, but he'll, but he'll probably get he'll see me in the bush here and think I'm trying to kill him. Oh shit! Impact grenade. Okay, I'll use that on him if he's being a dick. Time for a brand new PC lock, sir. Do it. You're getting into Tarkov. That's the reason. <laughs> That's reason enough to spend two grand on a new computer. Right, this is where <laughs> you wonder if scan the ships to America. God, I wouldn't want to trust uh, it, the, the bashing aroundiness of uh, international travel on a PC. You'd certainly have to take the graphics card out. Normally I'd stop off in the uh, little cabin there, but I just want to put a distance between me and that other dude. I've been exit camped quite a lot recently. It's horrible. Get out, get out, get out, get out. That's it, I'm out. Yay! Alright, we did it. Gotta get that gas analyzer. Hold your fire, cause it's a wipe. 
Put on your flashlight, bro, cause we're out all night Get to level 10, I unlock the flea I hope I don't run in a pestily Extra campers, chats and rats It's part of time, I want you to go to the Nice, another scav run out. I didn't really get loads of uh, amazing stuff there, but uh, it's all something. Um, both of these guns are pretty shit. Uh, I might as well just fence them just for an easy life. Um, the mask is definitely not worth four slots. Uh, it looks like these only sell for like 11,000. Um, but hey, I've learned that now. And I hadn't picked one up before. Beanies are cheap. I'll just sell that to Ragman. These half masks sell for good money because people use them to trade for packers. Uh, unfortunately, I don't seem to have any more... Um, whatever I was trying to sell on the flea recently just hasn't gone. Uh, aha! Something has. So we'll sell less because I know it'll go quick. We'll do a 7777. One thing, Luxor, if you are going for a new computer soon, um, definitely, if you're getting a new motherboard, definitely get one that supports PCI 4. Um, that's that's a really big, like, future-proofing-y thing I would recommend, uh, which will affect your overall speed of everything in my humble opinion um but rob is your man for all of this type of stuff he's he's the guy uh g fresh you ask him the headsets i'm using in real life um they are oh oh there's an there's a there's a there's a thing for that uh headphones let's see there you go ah that's actually slightly different yeah but it's the dt 990s are the ones i'm wearing here uh, now I love them. I was I was just telling Magda about it when we were on our walk earlier. This the microphone thing is a mod mic. It's a separate thing. Um, just because of how I connect my shit up, it just makes life easier rather than having my game and stream and everything through this big one. Um, but yeah, these are Bayer Dynamic DT nine ninety Pros. Um, oh, the other thing, yeah, as World Camp is saying. Uh, I found this with my motherboard here. It may not be true of all of them. Um, mine's a ROG Strix one. Um, and um, the PCI 4 motherboards, some of them have two M.2 SSD slots on them for the NVMe M.2 drives. And I know my one, if you use both of those slots, it brings the overall speed down to PCI 3, weirdly. You only get PCI 4 speeds if you only use one of them, which is fine. I mean, you only need to use one anyway, but um, I f that was an interesting thing that I was aware of at the time. And I was just like, well, um, that works for me. Teapots, teapots, teapots. It's time for the teapots. Um, come on. Do a quick round of teapots. A quick 40k. I always go back and try and peek another one, but usually that's enough to um, wake him up so I can sell him back. Go. Have I got enough? No. Should we do? Let's do a PMC run for a bit of uh, terror and suspense. Um, so I have to go to Shoreline to three what's the quest 
Wet your pot five. That's okay. Let me look this up on the thing. Wet your pot five. Okay, please remember this. It's three east three twenty eight. And we also need to go to east, the one at the bottom with the blue thingy bobs in it. Um Yeah, yeah, what Bangdalf's saying there. Yeah, yeah. Good thing is, like, I, I certainly found with the Rog Strix ones is their manuals are just that when you're researching, doing, if you're anything like me and you do your usual rabbit hole research when you're buying a new computer thingy, um, you can download the manual off the website before you buy it and just double check thingies like that. But um, that was an interesting thing for me to find because I'd, I'd gone to all the the trouble of looking up a motherboard that supported PCI 4 because I thought well if I've got a 3090 I might as well bloody not you know be a uh, instantly be putting a throttle in there on the speed um so I got one that supported PCI 4 but it's mad if I'd put two two SSDs in the in the M.2 slots it would have like stopped that working so um there's a thing isn't it right we're going to we're going to uh, man up and go to shoreline even well i'm telling you we'll do a sort of a nighttime one and maybe it'll be daytime by the time ready so this is nerve-wracking for me soloing um oh hello maestro gaming if you're buying a ryzen check qvl list oh what's qvl i do i know when um the 3800x's and everything came out a lot of the motherboards had to get a BIOS update and stuff to support them, which is why I actually bought like a motherboard CPU combo sort of ready built. They'd already put the CPU in and the co and the cooler. I got it from Scan actually, because um, although I'm confident building computers and everything, I'm not confident in fucking around with the BIOS and all that. So um, the new 12 series of Intel do the same DDR5 right now. Cannot run four slots of RAM over. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's another one. Yeah, watch your old um, your RAM. And the whole, um, you know, if you've got four slots and you're only using two slots, make sure you put them in the correct ones because there's... Uh, I, with, the, with my Mac Pro, for example, there's a strict... There's a diagram on the case and there's a strict order. It says if you've got two then put them in these two slots if you've got four then put them in these four if you've got six then put them in these six um it affects whether it uses can use dual channel mode all sorts of stuff um it's not going to like black screen you or whatever but um it it can you know if you're going to the trouble of buying like fast memory for example you can end up throttling it by accident if you put them in the wrong slots and stuff but again it's all in the manuals and all of that um, another one I didn't realise, but it, it didn't seem to happen to me, is um, I read on the Asus tech supports thing uh, when my motherboard, I had two two sticks of RAM in, like, so I was at 16, and I, or or I had, no, no, I had, I had 32 already, and I wanted to add another pair of 16 to bring me to 48, and I went against the advice, and luckily it worked, but there was lots of official advice from Asus saying, don't mix even if they're all exactly the same type of ram like you know vengeance or whatever same company don't mix two separate packs because they might be slightly different timings and it can cause weird shit weird pc shit um so if you're planning on using four sticks of ram you should buy a set of four sticks that are all together according to these people i didn't do that and it seems okay and you can get away with it um but in a perfect world, and you want to be careful, uh, you should don't mix and match your memory from different packs, even if it's the same brand, the same type, the same everything. Right. So it's dark. Oh, I hate this spawn. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, if someone's got a thermal, I'm going to die. I might just sort of hide here for a bit. Um, this is very campy, but just see if this guy, this is bad, because if the guy there, if I, hmm, 
I've got to kill PMCs. I've also got to kill scavs. If he's... The guy down there will be expecting me to walk down there, possibly. And when it's dark, PV... I, I wanted to go and kill easy scavs. I'll push up round to the right and just pray. Now, there's a spawn on the right here. I've got a laser. I do. Okay. And I can't see fucking things. So I have to rely, rely on hearing. So I'm going to have to be quieter. Not talk to you just for a minute. Hopefully everyone will just run off and do their quests. Guy that spawned here might have gone to radar for the stashes. Sorry this isn't very exciting to watch, but I'm... Because it's dark, I've just got to be careful. Problem is, the guy from the bottom might run up behind me, so... stash here somewhere I think but it's difficult to bloody find it in the pitch black hoping whoever sort of spawned here has run off inland and I can just go up around the edge and get the sniper scavs and then go in the back and then hit east wing. And hopefully all the early birds in resort will kill each other. Okay, that's good, this fighting. Sorry it's so dark. <laughs> yeah, I'm not wearing my glasses today. Normally I wear contact lenses every day. Um, oh, you mean without the sunglasses on, right? I'm wearing my, like, normal... Ooh. Oh, that's a resort. My spectacles. Um, my left eye was really, like, hurting yesterday. And really like sort of oozy, yucky, well not like, I don't know, it's not infected but I think it's sort of protesting. So I'm just having a day off contact lenses today. Um, yeah, I'm not used to wearing my normal glasses. It's not very good for gaming to see very well, but... I wish I didn't have to wear glasses. I'd like to just be able to wear sunglasses whenever I like. Like when I'm travelling and stuff, but... Well, certainly when I was younger, I wanted to. When I was more concerned about looking cool. I'm being careful and not going for the stashes. Have we gone past the house? Oh, let's go to the fucking house.
You never know what could be in here. Oh, hey, wild camper. You do actual wild camping, don't you, right? I've actually strangely got really, really interested in that. Like, I'm never going to actually go camping in um, uh, a tent overnight kind of thing. But um, we're, we've been talking quite a lot and um, we're planning on doing a lot more outdoorsy stuff and, um, you know, going for walks, long walks. We want to do coastal path walks and stuff. Um, and I've ended up watching a lot of YouTube videos of people that do wild camping. And I, I watched a really cool video of a guy that did John O'Groats to um, just a young lad on YouTube called Liam something. And did John O'Groats to Land's End, like walking the entire length of the UK. UK. Um, ah, shit. This always happens. I go to the wrong end and I'm running into resort. Nope. Um, anyway, I bought a rucksack. I, I did my usual getting obsessed about it and doing completely exhaustive research. And I bought myself an Osprey Kestrel 48 rucksack. And I've ordered myself um, a dry liner thing for it and some dry sacks. Ooh, is this high? Oh, is this too high? Ah, it's too high. Did I just break my legs? I did. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, only one fracture, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah, let's have a proper look at the sky in a minute. Once I've... Oh my god, I'm bleeding. What an idiot. Fell off a cliff. This is like how my outdoorsing activities are going to go in real life right here. Wandering around talking about shit and then falling off a cliff. Dying. So, there's the sky. Look at that. Beautiful. We should just do a bit of camping here. Go around the campfire, maybe. Cook some marshmallows. I'm just trying to do like a peaceful, quiet little bit of... Enjoy the uh, surroundings. There's a duffel bag here. There might be something nice in it. Let everyone else kill themselves. And, um, defuel. Don't mind if I defuel. Oh, okay. We're a bit too close to resort for me here. I kind of wanted to, uh, be on the edge so I can hit the stash out there. Oh, hey, Diligent Fingers, how you doing? Gaming stream tonight. I'm not, uh, rinsing out the D&B, so, um... I hope you don't mind watching me walking quietly around. I'm being stealthy because this game's all about stealth. And even when you are stealthy, you still die. I'm trying to get back to the edge of the map to do some edge walking. And I'm not running so people won't hear me. Although, to be honest, I can run now. I think the stash I want is here. But I always come at it from a different angle. Oh, no, it's, is it here? It's here, yeah. If I've got this right, right. Go on, how's that? Bloody hell, you know you've been playing Tarkov too long if you... Uh... Na oh, an Ash 12! Get the fuck in there. Um, nails are useful for... They're probably worth more. Nails are like 20k, and I need them for my sick case barter, so... Um... Yeah. That gun's worth 65k, the Ash 12. Just finished Destiny 2, nice. Give me 500 bits if I can key tar and sing Lighthouse while playing. <laughs> I haven't got the key tar in here right now. Um, I can put the white. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, I need to be able to hear shit. <laughs> Apologies for the uh, singing there. It rhymed though. Right, hopefully the sniper scavs will be up here and I can get a couple of the scav kills I need to do for this peacekeeping mission quest, which is uh, kill some scavs with an M4 while wearing the blue armour. And I'd rather not have to wear the blue armour uh, because it's only level 3 and everyone can see you when you're wearing it. So, um... And the beautiful thing now is the it's getting more daylighty, so... Any scavs for me? No? Right. I like this scope, the ACOG. It's fast. It's cheaper than Elcan, and I don't have to faff around with them. Um, getting in a model with which... Uh, so... Do we go in and try and get the bloody thing and then just die and have someone take our M4? So we're coming in from the north and the east wing is on the left. I need to get to the top. Sometimes there's a scav running around down there. No, no sniper scavs. Damn it. Okay. Okay. For your viewing pleasure, I'm going to uh, go into resort on my own, which is terrifying. We're looking for room E, East 328. So that's left. I think. Because we're coming in from the north, yeah. So I should go in and then walk all along the edge. Oh, Jesus. Oh! Oh, fuck off, mate. Okay, now the people inside know that I'm here. So where is he? I don't like it when they say Gipka. Okay. I'm hurt. And my arm's out. And I'm bleeding. But I've got that. So we heal it. I should probably just try to get out, seeing as I'm hurt. And I've got some good shit. And we've now got a scarf kill. But, since we're streaming, I'll risk it. Shall I risk it? I'll risk it. I haven't got much. Oh, shit. Let's get healed and sort out what we're doing. Risk it for a biscuit, or risk it for a biscuit. Hello, hello, Sion, Evgeny. We should go in. I've, I've been doing enough stonksing to, well, I don't ever want to die and lose all my shit, but like, um, hopefully that scav will have a bit of extra meds on him. Uh, I'm gonna eat and drink, I think. What can I put in here? Put the wreck bat in where the IFAC is. So we're mitigating some of our losses here. Hotkey that a bit. Oh god, alright, okay, so we're going east 328 if we can find it. That's the plan. Have I even got enough? I've got haven't got enough meds. If we start taking damage, I am gonna be fucked though, so um Emergency water rations is 50 hydration. Okay, reload. Repack. Being a bit economical here. Oh, did it do it? Okay, it did it. Right. 
All right, please. Hopefully there won't be some... Oh, come on. Who's that? Oh, sniper stabs up. Who's that? Where is that coming from? Ah, there we go. Did I get two? That must have been two. Let's check the task. I'm playing slow here. Apologies. Uh, we're looking for peacekeeping mission. Seven. Cool. That's good. I think we got two. Ah, that's good. So while we were sitting here, they basically spawned in, which helped us. Uh, I think I might just reset now, to be honest. No. Let's go. We've... 33, hopefully the sort of shoreline enjoyers would have done their thing and fucked off by now. Should we do a drink? We'll do a drink. I'm going to search the scav that I killed here in case he's got some meds. Blizzard, thanks for the 100. And William as well, thank you for the 100. I missed that four minutes ago, sorry. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the 100 bits. Uh, I should probably go prone. So what have we got here? Sunglasses? No. We need meds. That's why I'm here. Meds. Those are crap things I'm not going to take. Come on. Meds in the bag. Meds in the bag. Meds in the bag. Meds in the bag. Sugar. And not even much sugar, but at least it's some food to eat. Right, I am going to go out and go round the lock. Or should I just go in here and... Oh, no, that's scary. That was a bit hyper. That sounds a bit sanitar-like. Okay. 328. I'm hoping it's this side. I came with Cyborg and I think... I'm just going to go in here for a minute. Uh, I don't think they hit me then, did they? Willem C, thanks for the 100 earlier. I'm sorry I missed that when it happened. I was trying not to die at the time. And I end up neglecting you. Ooh, water um, filter. They're only 30k. They're not really uh, big stonks. But they're... OMG, wow. Stonks. stonks. That's some... Some big stonks. Some medium stonks. Ah. Do we think that was Sanitar? Or just a scav. It was a bit of a cracked scav, wasn't it? Maybe that's why we heard lots of shooting. Was it people dying? I guess we're about to find out. up the stairs here. I'm not clearing everything properly, so I hope no one's... Oh, 
Oh, went up too high. Time to drink my drinky. Already did, okay. 327. 326. Where's 328? 328! Is that the thing? That's the quest thingy. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh shit. What? Oh no. Dead body there. Hmm, should we go out that way and go the long way out? Yeah. Joy. Oh shit. Not me. I'm not going to bother searching him. Right, which way did I just come out then? I need to go north. So we're going to Lighthouse, I think. Check health. We're okay. Reload. Right, this is it. I've got a quest item on me. I'm desperately need to get out now. And I need to avoid the chads of resort. We're going to go for lighthouse extract. I hope. Yes. Am I going the right way? I think I am. I'm going to go through the rock passage bit. If the sniper scavs have come back up again, that's two more I can kill. Search this real quick. Hopefully there isn't like a crazy buckshot scav there. Cat, good. That's good in case I start bleeding. I should probably be careful here in case I just bumble into somebody. In Bus station, cottages, grenades. That might be more sanitar shit, in which case I'm glad we came out the way we did. Any more sniper scavs? I'm scared too. <laughs> right. Shall I turn off my blue laser or... Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes there's a scav around here. I'm going to hug the edge in case... Somebody sneaks up behind us. Right. There is a stash here that I never bloody find. It's in one of these bushes.
entered it. I thought I heard someone. Okay, cool. Hello, Yamacon. Polly, Polly terrifies and scared as fuck. Me too, me too. We're going to do it. There's that spawn for the couple of scavs by the rock up here, and they always trouble me. Amazing, thank you for the 15 Long months, mate. Okay, sometimes there are scavs around here. You can get to the rock, then I have some cover. And you can sometimes hear them clumping around if they are here. Problem is, when they are here, you can't see shit. If that's a player. Yo, I'm just trying to get out of this quest item. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. That could have been someone running out. And I've run straight into someone backwards. Uh, I didn't want to hang around for the fight there, even if it was a scav, it's too risky. Especially when I haven't got any meds left. Fear. Yeah, absolute fear. God. We need, I, I need to get a heart rate monitor thing for situations like that. Um, so you can... Oh, I've got four. Oh, and headshots as well. Look at that. Oh, you can't see because I took it off full screen. Bloody hell, fuck me. Like, the fear is real. Like, because if you die, you lose all your gear. And I was using an expensive gun there that I'm quite attached to. They always say you shouldn't get attached to them, but I do. I'd found some good gear, like the Ash 12 is worth 65k and some good XP if I get out alive. Um, the big thing that's really important that I mustn't forget is to hand in this quest item now for Wet Job Part 5. Boom! 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 That's huge. To do something like that on my own as well! That's that. I'm very proud of myself there. And it shows you can do it. Um, you know... Just sort of, I mean, not running into any PMCs is basically how I did it. But I made, I did my best chance of ensuring that would happen by playing slow off the spawn, being slow to get to resort, let everyone that was rushing there do their thing and hopefully leave or die or both. And then getting in and getting out. And I chose the way out that I went was the least convenient. I didn't go the direct way, which had been running across where the helicopter was and going to tunnel. 
I ran out east and looped back around because I felt like that was the safer route. Like, not as exciting to watch on stream unless you get off on, like, just seeing me in absolute terror. But um, I'm glad that works and I'm glad, sort of, uh, you were watching when I did it because quite often when I manage to succeed on things like that, I'm just playing on my own on, like, a Sunday afternoon or something and um, no one's there to witness it. Um... Let me put some tunes on. Um, ah, what a tune. Whee! I think we need a different one that's a bit more chilled. <laughs> we'll put Lighthouse Party on later. Um, but oh, I'm really pleased about that. I'm really, really quite proud as well. That's great to, to make some progress on the stream. I know it's not like going in there super confident and blasting everyone and, and everything, but like I I would do that if I could, but I, I can't, can't play that way. I'm not sort of good enough <laughs> basically but it's good to show that you can succeed in the game with different play styles and all of that and that's one of the things that was always attracted me to Tarkov is you know I feel like I can still do it you just have to go about things a different way <laughs> and it's still and it's really satisfying killing the scavs is, is satisfying that's all I ask for when I'm shooting my gun just to get get a little bit of some some scav blasts in there um oh speaking of which we'll do a scav run after this right i'm going to save that i'm going to sell a few little bits and bobs here just if i've got a slot I'll, I'll put some things up oh that's a relief to get that done sorry to keep going on about it but um that should be a bit of xp what do we get for doing that one? Oh, a trooper armor and some dollars nice uh oh hold on I'll probably sell that. Oh, I've got those to sell as well. We should sell that big. Um, let's unload that. Unload the ammo. I wonder how much these sell for. Not much more than they vendor for, but I need to get my vendoring rep up so I can list more thingies. So, yeah. Let's have a quick little minute, have a have a breather, and I'll just uh, have a, a, a bit of a better read of the chat. So, um, Wild Camper, yes, thank you. What's a Wild Camper? What do you think about stuff sacks and uh, waterproof stuff sacks for camping? <laughs> I bought some to I bought an Osprey one that goes inside my backpack. That's a whole the whole size of the backpack that should be all I need. But I bought some smaller ones for separating shit out as well that are waterproof. Um. You love them, yeah. They look, they appeal to me. Like if you're using a, we're we're, we're not not going to be overnight camping whenever we do it, but I do want to be able to do like a long, 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 long day, all day camping. Um, not camping, you know, long day backpacking, like carrying lots of shit with me and making sure I'm prepared and, and everything. Um, so it looked like the little stuff sacks are a great way of separating out your stuff. I think what we might do, we'll obviously build our way up, but we're going to do the Thames path. Um, and like, we'll probably do like, we'll get the train somewhere on the Thames and do one leg and then get the train back home. And then maybe another time we'll do an overnight stopping off at a BNB or something. And then just to see how that works. And then, um, uh, we might try and do it all in a whole trip of a week where you walk from back from b and b to b and b and plan it all out and everything just with a backpack so um but i'll ease my way up to it because i haven't done venture scouting or anything you've got a four person tent art uh, see I, I we're not up for tent for camping really like i know it would freak me out in a tent overnight i'd be worried about badgers attacking me or mice or rats or spiders or beetles or any number of things that would like agitate me um even though I love the idea of being in a little tent and waking up in the morning and being like, look at the view, it's beautiful. And then someone walks past and their dog does a poo next to your, like, things like that. I just like, nah, I'll just do the nice walk. That's cool. Um, but I have got really interested in the sort of, uh, the, the technology. Badgers, thank you for, <laughs> yeah, yeah, badger, you wouldn't attack me. You're one of the good badgers, right? Um, I'm amazing it's asking about my, uh, LED, oh, my light. Shall I put it back on it? It cycles between the two. This thing, um, I got it off Amazon from a, a private, from a seller, not like it. They, they don't sell them on Amazon basically anymore. And the place I bought it from is based in Spain or Italy. And I was the last person in, <laughs> I was their last customer in the UK because it was, I was the first person after Brexit and the shipping was a pain in the ass for them like 
Uh, I'm sure it's completely possible, but I don't think they like the extra paperwork and the worries about being charged VAT and customs crap. Um, the company, I think they're still listed on Amazon, but they're like out of stock permanently but you can find their website so maybe you could sweet if you wanted one you could sweet talk them into doing it but um it was quite expensive it was something i'd always wanted but i um did i it was one of those things where i said if i get partner i'll treat myself to this um and i can be like proud of it and everything i, I really like it it's cool um and i you, I, you can get customized ones done in other places but that was somewhere you said type in the thing and they make it and it it's some um, like led strips that they've put in the thing tents need to be tall enough to stand in and the ability to have a campfire outside and some distance from other people yeah see i just i like i, I wouldn't want to camp in a tent for all of the annoying the the horror movies i've watched i think i'd be lying there asleep at night and i'd hear a scuffle and i'd be like there's a man outside with a giant axe waiting to smash it down on me and i haven't got cc like in our house if i hear a noise i just grab my phone and look at the cctv and i'm like perimeter's clear okay go back to sleep in a tent i'd just be like fuck and then i'd have to get out in with a torch and check and look at everything and then i'd fall off a cliff and die and just there's too many bad things could happen plus i wear contact lenses i like i don't know i I'd, i i can't handle not having a shower and things like that so i just we're not doing tents basically we'll we'll stay in places but do lots of outdoorsy things otherwise so um and no fires in the lakes yeah because it sets fire to the peat i've been watching the uh the lakes thing and it sets fire to the peat and you have big fires and it destroys the the uh lakes area the lake district right let's uh i just quickly sell a couple of these things and then we'll do a scaffold and make some more money i've got a few good bits of, of loot there on that one too that was a nice little money maker although obviously pmc runs take longer than scav runs usually okay that's all just crap i'm gonna chuck there that probably isn't worth much so i'll just sell it to mechanic uh so there we go oh what's the teapot situation hold tight of teapots how are we doing 34 uh, someone else has been at it big up to the cyborg i made it out i fun managed to do one of those quests we were trying to do uh yesterday we do i played with cyborg last night off stream and we i think we died every time it was really sad uh let's make some more wires it's still fun but it's sad i don't like dying especially when it's like to squads who are like going hey bro what's up hey bro and you're like leave me alone and then they come and kill you right let's go make some friends on interchange how about that that'll be fun i'm a scavy boy with no backpack ready ready so we're gonna go to interchange try and hoover up some things if i can get some tapes they'll be useful for my sick case hey bro hey, hey prime dark how you doing peck arion just watched my let it roll set oh wicked it was it was amazing that it was a beautiful time like my my set uh my set time at let it roll was as the sun was coming up it was the last set of the main stage on that day and that was that was beautiful and I, I planned my set really like meticulously and it all came together nicely. Um... Oi. Fifteen Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in a uh, god I yeah. I was talking again to Magda about this today. Whenever it's really cold outside, I can't I'm nice and warm inside, but I want to go out in some warm clothes and sort of be out and fresh but warm and cold at the same time We've, we had a really good walk this evening it's um our sort of one of the loops that we do uh we did a loop today and we sort of measured it, it was 5k it took about an hour 20 which is really good a Lockwin park in uh, northern ontario welcome to the loft crew jill 14 months 14 months is a big one Big one. Hang on. Fourteen months is a big one. <laughs> oh my god, that's it. Wow. 
Wow, what am I doing? That looks so weird. I should I should delete that scene, shouldn't I? <laughs> That's really lame. Really lame. Hello, Jill. Thank you. Thanks for the 14 months. Thank you for all your mega support. If you've, you've, you've been legendary. Hope you're doing all right. I don't know if you're here. I, I had a. I'm playing solo tonight. Just being a bit bit peaceful with it and um had a good raid then i managed to do a quest and get out and no one killed me right we're a scav we haven't got any good shit we're by ollie we've got 15 minutes left ollie's a good place to recruit pmcs although this late in the have i got a shit helmet on no i haven't hello i'm a player scav hello ah. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I'm a player scout. Stop. Bloody hell. Calm down. Uh, hello. <laughs> Fuck me. He's not shutting up. Shut up, mate. Bloody hell. All right, now I've got that off my chest. What I was going to say is I'm a player scab, and if you want to do an extract, I'm here. <laughs> I'll take that as a no, then. <laughs> oh, uh, lucky for the timer there. Hello, I'm a player scab, if you want to do an extract. Hello, friendly scav, if you want to do an extract. That's me using VoIP. And trying to sound non-threatening. Oh, I need a, 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 a watch a motor. 45k, nice. Let's see if we can hoover up some motors. I need them for my uh, Bitcoin uh, thingy. What's that? What's that? What's that? Alkali, 7k. Use it to make bleach. Hello, friendly scav. If you're a PMC, we can do an extract. I'm a friendly scav. Hold your fire. Oh, I need them as well, but I can't get it. How'd you get them? Yeah. Oh, damn it. Oh. Hello, I'm a friendly scav. Friendly scav. Magus probably likes. Oh, another thermometer. Stonks. 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 OMG, wow. Stonks. That's Ooh. some big stonks. Oh, oh yeah, it. look at that loot. We're gonna be rich. Praise Nikita. Stonks. Stonks. GG. Cheeky breaky. I'm off to go buy me something nice and shiny with all these rubles we be getting with these big stonks today. Well done, John B. Yeah. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Lexi glass. Nice. Use them to make. Um, oh no, you don't. I was thinking you need them for scav box building, but that's keck tape. You need keck tape. I really don't like leaving through Emicom. Should we go out and go through? Oh god, Imacom terrifies me. There's always bastards camping around there. Yeah, fuck it. I've got good shit. We'll go uh, up through here and try and go out through um, another helix. I won't pick up any more shit because uh, we're going to go railway if I can find my way. Uh, ooh, uh, mm, propane, 40k, two of them and a fuel conditioner equals a big silver tank. For hello, I'm a friendly scav. Are you a, fr hello, a, friend hello. Are you a PMC? Do you want to do an extract? Um, no, oh, you're scav, cool. Do you need anything for dailies? Do you need anything for a daily? No, I don't. I'm okay. just running around. 
Cool. I'm going to go to um, Railway. Yeah, so. Yeah. See ya. Have fun. Take it. Where am I? Oh no, I'm at... Oh, I might as well just go to... Uh, Emicom. I'm here. Never point your gun at another scav. They get edgy. I got exit camped the other day when I had a pilgrim and all sorts of shit and there was a man hiding in the bush that's on the other side of there. And I heard him go unprone. I turned and he shot at me and I had like good armour and an AK with BT BP and I was blasting him but I lost the battle and I died and I was so pissed off. I didn't rage I was just like Arr, Arr. but um, I really hate exit campers they're horrible people. Then again, maybe he'd had a long protruded battle with somebody inside and uh, was waiting for them to come out. <laughs> In which case, I don't blame them as much, but it's still a slimy way of doing things. But if this was a real life situation where I was possibly going to die, I would never fucking come this way. <laughs> Ever. I'd get I'd use the swipe card thing and go through killer's room every single fucking time. Rather than risk somebody sniping me. Normal. Right, let's get out and then we can do a chat. Hey, Come on. Let's do a Sorry for my scaff being so rude at the beginning. That was uh, that was crazy. Do I use something to protect my ears while playing Tarkov? Um, no, don't need to. I mean, I have it quite loud, but these are open back headphones, so um, it's not, not too bad. Great, so I've got a motor there that I need for my Bitcoin farm. Propane I will use uh, for fuel. Alkali I'll use to make bleach. Longer flat screwdrivers I never use for freaking anything. Condensed milk I'll sell to the trader straight away. Helix I'll just put away. Uh, knives I save to turn into MP5s, even though I think it's probably just better to just sell them. That I'll just put these down here, and we'll probably sell them off stream. Have I got got a bit more time left, so that's okay. Yeah, I don't need to do too much selling. Ah, uh, so you need new headphones, so... Uh, I'm, uh, we're, Wild Camper, were you talking about buying new headphones? I missed the... Hang on, let me scroll, scroll it up. Switch scenes. Ah, yes, oh, that was before. <laughs> Lucky I've got a timer set so that it, on the loading in one, it does change eventually. Um... So you're oh so you're buying new headphones? Are they for gaming or listening to music or combination? Like these are the best sounding, most comfortable headphones I've ever owned. Uh, I didn't get them free or anything, so this is and I've I've tried so many different headphones. Um, the only problem with these is they're open back, um, so they're great when you're in a quiet environment, but. Um, if you can hear they're useful for really useful for gaming because i can kind of hear what's going on you know if magda came in and said something to me i'd sort of hear it um but you can wear them on public transport and stuff the sound would bleed out and also you, it wouldn't sound as nice um they're so comfortable they're like they've got the velvety thingies i mean i wore them for the 24 hours when i did my uh when it was talk of drops and um it was fine and i don't have any other head my like those hd 25s that i bought recently for djing are so bloody uncomfortable to the point that i'm almost thinking of ditching them but there's very few other options for me i'd, I'd totally go back to the the technics kind that i had before if they made them uh anymore but they don't um I have the 770s as well behind me because they're the closed back ones and I bought them because I love these so much and I can unplug them and use them in the studio when I'm making music 
and I bought the 770s just as another reference. It's like how you have several different pairs of speakers when you're making music to reference and you know sometimes your ears get too used to one and you know different types of speaker represent different setups um and i don't like the 770s at all i don't really like closed back most closed back headphones they just sound sort of like you're flipping got you know cans over your ears so it just doesn't whereas these just seem so clear and like i can nothing's weirdly echoing like it's because it's open um wandering about yeah for going you know what else i love is the um apple airpods pro these i absolutely fucking love them like i wear them when i'm running and walking um headphone stands amazing jill it's upstairs in the loft um so yes, it's up there. Um, can't, put, <laughs> can't put these on the, <laughs> but they're good for the big headphones. Um, oh, but they hurt you in here. Oh, it's a shame. I'm such a huge fan. Uh, Magda's got the Sony's, the MX, the, the sort of flagship Sony noise cancelling headphones, but the version three, not the new version four ones. Um, they're really amazing, but they're wireless ones they're really expensive as well i think um but they're sort of regarded as the best noise cancelling headphones um but sort of big noise cancelling headphones sort of freak me out they've it's sound a bit strange but they do they're good for flights but that's about the only time where you would really need that sort of stuff uh right let's sell this bag let's uh, get some money oh 35k nice can we get with a bit more no let's just Have I got, shall I do another? How many did I did I get all of the kills I need on? A, we still need four more scavs on shoreline, so we could go and do a shoreline run, but then I'll lose my M4 if I die. How long do the AirPods last? Air, AirPods, <laughs> AirPods last. You got unbranded ones and they last about three hours charged. Um. I don't know what the official answer is. Um, they last me more than an hour, that's for sure. And the beautiful thing is the case charges them up. So, you know, you pop them back in your pocket after your walk and then they, they charge them back up again for your next walk, you know. Um, so what do we do? Another? Sc I don't think my guy will have been cooled down for at least five minutes until we can do another scav run. Should we, should we man up and try and do, a, do another shoreline... Yeah, we'll man up and we'll do another shoreline um, scav hunting mission. And yeah, we're going to do that. Give you your money's worth. Do that. Should we go daytime this time? More likely to run into people, but it'll look better on stream. Although dying won't, but seeing my pain probably will. <laughs> I like um I tell you what I I really like is over over the head headphones just for good sound there's some audio technica ones like the 50x or something um I auditioned some of them ages ago and and I I keep thinking I should just get some to have in the arsenal they're they're 50 quid ish though um and there's the Sennheiser I think they're two the Sennheiser 280s the ones that I was using in between my old ones breaking and the HG 25s, they're really comfortable and good sound quality. Like they're a sort of studio headphones and I think they might be between 50 and 100, but they might be around. I think they've got some same form factor, about 50. Um, but yeah, I, um, I, I remember trying out the a the the audio technica like 50x's or something the, the the wired ones at like a sort of um new audio technology fair thingy and i was like shit these are actually good like i like they were they were the kind of ones where you the frequency range probably boosts the trebles a bit they sounded nicer and brighter but i i, I like that especially in the studio because you gotta feel like it sounds good to be excited about what you're doing to so keep going <laughs> um 
and they really like tick those boxes for me. Um, so I'd, I, I rate those for sure. Oh, hello, Marito Sway. We're good. We're playing Tarkov tonight. I'm just loading into Shoreline. Uh, my main mission now is kill some scavs. I've got to get four more scavs dressed like this with the blue armor and using an, an M4 gun. Um, yeah, it's... I, I like this, actually. Um, uh, it's an NT4 suppressor and, like, the MOE... Uh, I was just trying to buy one that looked half decent, but... Um, wasn't all super meta stuff because half the time I'd never even get to fire a bullet. Um, and I'm using the ACOG rather than LCAN because it's a bit cheaper and it's good magnification. And I've started putting um, blue lasers on because it's help. I have to get PMC kills as well with my scav vest on. Right, where are we? We're at the... here. Okay, so we run up the side for this. I'm going to try and get the sniper scavs. I don't think anyone spawns ahead of us on this one. We shall see. They might do. They rarely come back this way, but you never know. How are we doing for everything? Okay, we're cool. Our health's okay. It's cool. Somebody might have spawned where we spawned last time. See, it's really fast ADS. I guess maybe I've got good ergo or something. I've got the laser on. I don't normally sprint too much here, but... Shall I go to the house? Then I can maybe... I don't normally... If I get that spawn, I never run down this way, because I always do what I'm doing if I get this... But I have run into people here before. Brilliant. I need PMC kills. Has he got a mate, though? I'm hurt. Oh, shit. What have I got? Light bleeding. That's that's an absolute fuck. Oh, shit. That's a grenade. I think. He's going to think he killed me there. He's on my left. Heard him. I'm going to get pushed from behind here. This is risky. I'm going to go for the rock. That they were a duo, I think. Was that grenade there? But now I'm at risk. person there pushing up, especially if you heard the shit going on. But I killed his mate, so he might be scared. I don't need to give him the opportunity to reposition. If I can take the high ground by that house, that might be good. But I'm going to be exposed if I go that far. If I can do it without him seeing, oh, this is fucking risky. the laser. Is his mate going to turn back? Or is he going to go up there?
I was him, I might. I hear steps in the distance. Possibly down below. If I run all the way back, let's see if he's they probably won't push in that same direction. If I kill the guy in front, he's probably the better of the two. Don't know whose grenade it was. He's probably expecting me to loot his body, but... I'm not interested. If I go in here and loot shit, I'm not going to hear if he appears outside, so... I'm going to go down here and try and hit, um... The power station. Hello, Five Star Mojo. Oh, hey, Evan, as well. Sorry, I didn't say hello when you first appeared. I was killing somebody. <laughs> That's great. I'm glad I was able to do that while talking to chat as well. Force. That's amazing to have got a PMC kill there. That's a Punisher. Have I got the Balaclava on? Yes! Right, so we're going to go and have a little look at Power Station. Try and get some scavs down there. And if any luck, some unsuspecting PMCs. They have to be unsuspecting because that's the only way they die. Hey, what's up, Captain Douchebag? You just missed an incredibly rare moment where I actually killed somebody. Hopefully they're not stream sniping me now. Every now and then I stop and listen. Like <laughs> Tarkov players will understand what I'm doing here, but I, I know a lot of you guys know from me from my music and are relatively new to Tarkov and like don't play it as much as I do. So, ah, now I need to be careful that while I'm hyper-focused on power, I'm watching the right here. Right, have we got any sniper scouts up? I think I see one there. I think there's a dead one slumped over the edge. Oh no. Uh, 
no, that's a light. The lights always catch me out. That's a dead scav. Okay. Ooh. It's in resort. I think I might... Hmm... I'll pass by and uh, maybe we'll go to the pier. Get into some trouble around there. Hopefully matey's uh, duo partner isn't stalking me. a look at the um i try not to run around like a headless chicken <laughs> although doing this is no guarantee to avoid any old head eyes either right let's have a look at the uh, stash under the bridge and then we'll go and i oh, maybe we'll go up to radar actually is that one radar Yeah, that's the plan. Although radars... Oh, bollocks, someone's been here. Someone's been here. Ten. Hmm. Wouldn't expect PMCs to be up here at this point in time, so... Someone else there. But they're busy fighting. Oh shit, they've got a silenced M4 there. Risky, risky, risky. Should I try and get him? They're going to be watching for me running away now. Their rotation, though, would probably be to go where I'm going next, so maybe I wait. Oh shit, did I bring food and drink with me? No. Okay. Change of plan. We're going across here. I've lost track if we heard any... Um, Scavs down here. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, 
Has he got any food on him? Those other guys are probably going to come racing over here. Because they heard the shots. I think there were two. I heard the swivel. Is he outside? Okay, there's a couple of scabs. Um, I do need to get the fuck out of here though, because I'm not particularly too well stocked on ammo. And the guys that were, if the guys that were at radar are good and bloodthirsty, they'll be coming for me. Just going to put some distance between myself and them. Regroup the bush. those 20 and put them in that just so I have a full mag yeah that's what I'll do stop stop be prepared kids oh and it's mag training drills as well I suppose yes <laughs> okay and then we'll chuck them in just in case we get into some shit. And then we reload. And unload this. Don't know how many are in this one. Oh, quite a lot. Ah, great. So if we, uh, we've actually got enough. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. This is not a good idea. Oh, you're out, Evan. Okay, cool, mate. Thanks for stopping by. See you tomorrow, maybe, for the for the liquid. Okay, I'm unloading them, and I'll stick that in there, so we've got a full mag of 30, and then I'll just drop that in the bush. And then we'll try and get out. This is not a good idea, running through... Oh, why am I? I'm running quite slow. Am I really heavy or something? The shotgun and the shells are probably heavy, aren't they? Should we risk it and have a look for the stash at the back there? Ooh. Mm. No, let's... Um... Oh, we are right here. Okay. <sighs> energy for the jump come on this is like no parkour right plan is to hit the stash at the back there and then gt f o but anyone coming over the hill there is going to see me so this is really risky russell 2022 thank you for the follow wow one thing he left in it Sometimes there's loose loot on uh, these boxes. I thought I heard...
I wonder if maybe I killed a PM when I just sprayed through the bushes there. I wonder if I got a lucky shot. Yeah, these two hours have gone fast. This is going to have to be the last last uh, raid. I'm on my way to the extract now, so wish me luck, boys and girls. Hit this stash here by the old broken wooden shack thingy. Oh, I could maybe try and get some Scav Island Scavs as well on the way past. Man, why is my guy so unfit? He's just always huffing and puffing. Crazy. Right, what we got, what we got? T-plug, god, I've been getting a lot of them today. Elite pliers, nice. Spark plug, cool, it's all money. TT, we got a TT. Right, I'm gonna go this way. I should probably not run in case someone's edge running it. And maybe there'll be a cracked scav on the island for us. I see no scavs. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see. Oh, let's come on. Oh, that's it. Dead. Sorry, buddy. That was somebody looting. I think that was a player scav. Beautiful. That was either a scav or a player there. So uh, sometimes you get scavs loitering around here. You got to watch out. Maybe that was a player scav. Ooh. Hallelujah! 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 <laughs> yeah! I really do a fire, cause it's a white I gotta get that gas and a lesser high Hold your fire, cause so, it's a white what did we get? What you said three scams? I say that I'm all pleased nice. I don't know one to die I need to craft to my salawaya Please don't kill me, Rashala Cause I just got me some free ammo Hold your fire, cause it's a white I spend it to the future for my pocket Watch your hold your fire Gotta get that gas and a laser Hold your fire, cause it's a white Put on your flashlight, bro, cause we're out all night Get to level 10, unlock the flea I hope I don't run in a pastille Extract campers, chats and rats It's time to go to go what a celebration that is look at that beautiful one usec kill as well that's huge that's really really amazing um for little old me to actually get a 
a PMC kill there. Let's see how we're doing now on... Um... That's That's been good. You've seen me survive two PMC raids on Shoreline tonight. That's really not too shabby. And I've got a few good scav kills there. I looked kind of like I knew what I was doing. Those ones in the power station with a laser. Pew, 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 pew. Silenced M4. Oof. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see what Prapor says about my uh, Punisher Part 4. Four. We've got four PMCs now. That's all right. That's all right. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Who is that? Jill. Jill, thank you very much for the 200 bits and the uh, the applause. Thank you. Very kind of you. Oh, that was good. I, I, that's been a good two um, PMC runs. I didn't die. I enjoyed it because I, I felt like kind of peaceful. It's nice. I'm glad I held it together doing a, um, a solos stream as well. Um, trying to sort of rely on myself a little bit more and, and not be a big wuss running with like big bad sherpas who kill everything for me <laughs> blp thank you for the three months thank you for stopping by mate big up thank you to the blp blp streams as well so um can we do a shout out to the man like the blp please give him a follow he's a tarkov man oh let's put some tunes on yeah it's feeling good feeling good like i mean every now and then well not every now and then like but <laughs> Uh, when I play Tarkov, I, I have plenty of times where I die a lot, but I play a lot more cautiously now and I don't make as many silly mistakes as I used to. So I definitely don't die as much as I used to. Um, but when it comes to like gunfights, I still lose. But an interesting one there is, again, if we're thinking about like lessons we can learn from my play today, there was that engagement on the, what was it? Is it weather station? I always call that radio radar. It was weather station when I was creeping up there looking for scavs and I... I heard some other footsteps. I was like, hmm, scavs aren't normally stepping where that is, so it's probably a player. I heard them, like, fighting. I think it was a duo, and they were fighting scavs. I could have tried to third-party that, but they also had a, they had a silenced gun, which to me is usually a sign that they're a good player because they're running a good gun. So I thought, hmm, if I push this, I might get the kill, but at the very least I'll get fucked up and possibly not make it out alive or just be killed right now completely. So I kind of, I scared them a bit by fighting back and then like ran off and I was thinking about maybe flanking them or something, but it would have been foolish to just sort of push through the bushes because I think there were two of them. So even if I'd got one, I would have died because they would have got me and stuff. So um, that's something where my experience I think helped me. Like it also there's obviously a huge amount of luck in not dying then, but um that's cool. See, if I can do it, you can do it. Um, Badgers, thank you very much. Thanks for... Um... <laughs> yeah, it does make... Yeah, imagine what it's like when you're playing it as well. It's tense. That one, I didn't feel too tense. I was all right. Um, but the one when I had the quest item on me, um, I'm always like, oh, please don't let me die here. I just can't, I can't face this. It'll suck. Um, so, right, I'm going to rage over to the man Claymore plays. Uh, he's a cool dude. He's from the UK. He is still on, isn't he? Let me just check. Yes, he is. Um, he's trying to start doing a partner push, so I know he'll really um, appreciate the views. Um, so once you get over there, give him a big shout, make some noise, um, and um, refresh your browser um, so that he gets the native views and it helps get his average up. Um, oh, shit, I hope he hasn't just... Has he just popped off? No, he's still on. Cool. So I'm going to end the stream. Send my love to the man like the Claymore. He's a good guy and he's an English uh, streamer, British streamer as well. Thank you for all the support and everything. And I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for the music stream. Good night, Jill. See you, Miss Jackalope. See you, Luxa. Bye, Wild Camper. Bye, Badgers. Prime Dark. Bally Booth. BLP. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you, Marito Sway.